My name's Alicia, I'm from Vancouver, BC, and we're in San Francisco. Music is my nine to five. I pretty much just get up, write music. I've been doing music my whole life. I started performing professionally when I was 14 years old. Um, I've had part-time office, coffee shop, you know, part-time artist jobs for a while, but I've been doing music full-time since 2007. I like to say it's organic electronic. I've been a live musician my whole life and I also do live vocals and rapping and effects over my sets. So I like to think that I integrate instrumentation, vocals and organic elements with electronic music, heavy bass and all that other stuff. Because I'm a live musician as well, I've definitely invested a lot of my money into vacuum tube preamps, things like that that really warm up the sound. I'm really into big, warm, clean sounds. I was a vinyl DJ for 12 years, so in my own production I use Logic and then an Avalon preamp, my baby, which I do most of my vocal recording. My Focusrite sound card also has a really nice preamp. I also really like the blue microphones. I've been using them recently. My stage mic is actually a condenser stage mic, which is really rare, you know, usually they're too delicate, but they actually make one that lets me sing, lets people understand what I'm saying because the transients are so clear and is also bulletproof, which is good for me. I, I drop stuff a lot. <laughs> Being a woman, they don't expect that I make my own stuff. That being said, I've definitely gotten a few novelty all-female lineups and I kind of just like to ignore it and just make as much music as I can and hope that people don't even figure out that I'm a girl until I get there. People have bought my albums and then come to the show and sort of tripped out on, oh, you're a girl. I said, so? <laughs> People spend a lot more time asking me about being a woman and a lot less time asking me stuff that you just ask other guys, which sometimes I'll just notice, like I've done interviews side by side and with the guys they'll be like, what's your blah 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 tips and then for me and they're like, how is it being a girl? And I'm like, the same as it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> You know, with the whole crazy dubstep sort of aggressive thing that's going on, I've definitely had a lot of opportunities where people say, you know, why don't you just make something that's more like this? And for me as a musician, it kind of hurts a little bit inside because I can't make something that's like something else. Like, I have to make what comes out of me, you know? And I think there's some people who approach things in a more technical way, and there's certainly a lot of those people in the music industry. For them, it's a challenge to create a new collection of sounds that represent a goal. And for me, it's just, it has to be what's coming out of me, so I definitely feel the pressure sometimes to be a little bit more this or that, but I can't respond to it. I don't really have a choice. I love collaborating for one thing, and you always create something so different than what either of you have made on your own. Um, working with Annie Serum has taught me probably the most about production, technical stuff. He's so amazing with all his engineering and mix downs, and he's taught me so much about how to pull a track together, make it sound really good. Opio and Russ Liquid both are great musicians as well, so there's a lot of jamming in that process, and that really brings out the musician in me, so it's been really fun to work like that. I don't think I've ever finished a collaboration that hasn't just worked for me right away, so I would say that everybody I've worked with, I have this really beautiful kind of musical synergy with. I have a new project that I've been doing for the last few months that's really exciting to me called Intellipaths. And it's a project between me and Unlimited Gravity where we both sing, rap, beatbox, and do live looping in between playing beats. The reason we called it that is because we started collaborating and before we had even formally written a track, we had started tracks separately by ourselves in the same key, at the same tempo, with the same beat pattern, and basically just telepathically wrote the track. I've always, since I was a kid, wanted to fly. I used to have flying dreams once or twice a week, and you know, I guess now I do a lot of flying, but I'd like to be able to do it without a plane. And I'd probably just use it to do uh, even more traveling. Right now, something cool that I'm working with is Blue Tech's uh, Amazon Voices Critical Beats project, which is basically bringing technology to indigenous tribes in the Amazon and allowing them to communicate with each other, to record their own songs and stories, and to make their own films about the rainforest destruction. So I would love to just be able to fly, swoop around, teach some production lessons, record some, you know, it would make it a lot easier, for sure. But uh, that's some work I'm doing that I try to make my superpower, just helping the world.